Have you ever wished for a beauty solution that can work wonders from head to toe? Well, if that's the case, consider your wish fulfilled. Castor oil isn't just renowned for its health advantages, it's equally celebrated for its beauty enhancing benefits. In this video, I'm gonna share five castor oil recipes for hair, nails, and skin. I'm even gonna walk you through how easy it is to make these recipes at home. Let's kick things off with our first castor oil recipe for hair growth. All you need is a mixing bowl to blend your ingredients and a container to pour the oil into. This recipe is the castor oil hair mask and scalp treatment. First, you're gonna need your castor oil, and I'm using the Jamaican castor oil, black Jamaican castor oil, which is very good. Then you'll want your essential oil. I'm using sweet orange, which is what I have available, but you can use lemon, rose hip, apricot, whichever scent you prefer. Then you'll need rosemary oil. Um, I actually made this from dried rosemary, um, but you can make it from fresh rosemary. In order to make this, what you'll need to do is put a tablespoon of your dried rosemary into a carrier oil like avocado, coconut. Um, in this case, I'm using extra virgin olive oil, and you can just uh, set it in a jar in a warm place for a couple of weeks, and the longer it sits, uh, the more infused the rosemary will get into the oil or you can um, speed things up by putting it on a double boiler on the stove just to warm up the oil. Now you're going to take your bowl or your container and add one tablespoon of your castor oil. Let's see if we can get that in there. Then go ahead and add your rosemary oil and actually you can strain this, uh, strain the rosemary sprigs out of the oil, but it doesn't bother me to have them in there. It doesn't make a difference really. Um, then you want to put in your couple of drops of your essential oil. In this case, again, it's a sweet orange for me. Orange has a lot of vitamin C, which is very good for you. And just mix everything together. Now just pour your oil into a container and uh, a little bottle. I actually got these out of the travel section at my local store. Then just place your bottle of oil into a hot glass of water and let it warm the oil for about five minutes. And there you go, there's your oil. Now you'll wanna apply this to damp hair, not wet hair and then you'll put um, massage the oil into your hair and then you'll put a plastic cap on it and wrap it in a towel and you can let that sit for about 20 to 30 minutes or so and then you'll go ahead and shampoo and condition your hair as normal. Now some of the benefits of castor oil for the hair is that it helps to thicken thinning hair. As we get older, sometimes our hair tends to thin out and we lose some of that collagen that is naturally produced in the body. And it doesn't matter the texture of hair. Uh, this works for fine and straight hair to coarse or curly hair textures. And another benefit is that it helps to nourish hair that is damaged or dry from over-processing with hair dyes or blow drying and perms and straighteners. And um, even if you've been swimming in a swimming pool or the ocean, you know, the salt water, it also helps with hair growth by stimulating the scalp because of the combination of the castor oil and the rosemary. Moving on to our second recipe, which is the castor oil cuticle cream or nail balm. You'll need, of course, castor oil, tea tree oil, some shea butter. I'm using the African shea butter, but it really doesn't matter what brand or type. Then you'll wanna use some beeswax and some essential oil, which is lemon oil in this case, or lemongrass. Next, you'll wanna grab a pot or a glass bowl, something you can put on a double boiler on the stove. And then you'll add your beeswax to the pot and your castor oil. And then obviously take it over to your stove and put it on your double boiler. And just keep it on there until the beeswax melts. Um, that should take about four or five minutes. And obviously you don't want your water too hot because you don't wanna burn your oil. And then once that's all melted, you wanna take it off the stove, and then you're gonna go ahead and add your tea tree oil and your essential oil, the uh, lemon oil in this case, or again, whatever scent you prefer of essential oil. It looks like I'm getting low on the lemon oil, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that sweet orange oil I used before. 
Then you just give it a swirl and mix everything together and pour it into your container. Um, again, I got these from the travel section at my local store and you'll just pour it in there to harden and store it away and use it as needed. Now the way you use your cuticle cream or balm is just dab a little bit on each nail bed or cuticle and just gently rub it into each nail and your fingertips. Some of the benefits of this castor oil for nails is that it has, castor oil has a high protein and vitamin E content and it also helps prevent brittle nails or dry nails. It helps you to grow healthy nails. Also, it, castor oil has a antifungal properties, it has some antifungal properties, so it kind of helps from, you know, getting bacteria into your nails and keeps keeping your nails healthy. Our third recipe is a castor oil shaving cream. Now, this is something for the men or women can use it on their legs or armpits. So you'll need, of course, your castor oil. We're gonna need some of that shea butter that we used before. Kinda looks like cocoa butter. Then we'll need some extra virgin olive oil or another carry oil like avocado oil, coconut oil, um, almond oil, jojoba oil. Uh, you'll need some essential oil. Again, I'm using the sweet orange, but you can use whatever scent you prefer. And then you're gonna put your shea butter and your castor oil into your little pot that you can put on the stove or a glass bowl. And then you're gonna take that over to the stove and heat it up until your shea butter mixture melts. Next, you wanna take your oil mixture and pour it into another bowl. And that's where you'll go ahead and add your essential oil. Again, I'm using the sweet orange oil. You can use any scent you want. And then you just take it over to the refrigerator and put it in the refrigerator and um, let it cool and solidify just a little bit, not all the way hard. You just want it uh, a little bit, a little bit hard, like a film, like a hardened film on top. And then you'll go ahead and grab a mixer and just whip away until it's light and shaving cream it has a light shaving cream consistency. It should look something like this. Men can shave with this, obviously, or women can uh, shave their legs with it. And oh my goodness, once you try this, your skin will feel so soft after you shave. It's amazing. Now moving on to our fourth recipe, it's our castor oil body butter. Now this recipe is pretty much like the shaving cream. The only difference is you'll wanna use a different essential oil and you go ahead and through the same process, add your castor oil to your shea butter, put it on the stove and put it in the refrigerator to harden after you put in your essential oils. And then you'll just whip it away with your mixer until it's light and has the consistency of a body butter. Now I like to use the mango mango scent like a, because it reminds me of um, the body butters that you get in the store. Uh, and so once you whip it away, you just go ahead and put it into a container. Again, I got this container from the travel section at my local store. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more in here, <laughs> the mango scent, since I like it. And this will keep for months. It's uh, really nice. And of course your skin will be left soft and smooth. Now our fifth recipe is our castor oil bath and foot soak. So for this recipe, you'll need some Epsom salt, You'll need some baking soda. You'll need some castor oil. Then you'll need some lavender essential oil. You'll also need some peppermint oil, essential oil. Then grab yourself a bowl or container to mix your bath or, bath or foot soak. Um, this is actually just like a single use portion. So again, you can double up the recipe if you want to, double, quadruple, whatever you need. Um, so you go ahead and put in a fourth cup of your Epsom salt into the bowl, a tablespoon of your baking soda, which I am almost out of. Then add in a tablespoon of your castor oil, a few drops of your lavender oil. Sheesh, I'm almost out of my lavender oil too. Then add in a few drops of your peppermint oil. 
just get last little drops of everything and go ahead and mix that together in your bowl make sure everything's nice and mixed together you can use this castor oil bath and foot soak right away or you can store it in a container it'll keep for months some of the benefits of castor oil for the skin is that it helps to hydrate the skin and keep it moisturized it helps prevent wrinkles if you're um, prone to getting infections it has those antifungal properties I know our feet is an area of the body that's prone to bacteria so again a foot soak of this castor oil foot soak is great for that and it also has anti-inflammatory properties as well the list goes on and on. Hopefully these recipes inspired you to try castor oil.